Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and today's video is going to be outdated trends that I love, love, adore, worship and will die wearing. I'm not going to waffle this time because I always do. I always fucking just go on like a tangent. I'm not doing that this time. I'm going straight, straight into my points. Point number one, camouflage. I know you guys are probably thinking, Maria, how is camouflage updated? Are you dumb? Listen, let's have a chat. As we all know, there's different type of patterns when it comes to camouflage. You've got like a shit ton. you got shit on different shit, right? You have those, remember the college ones that I used to wear in like 20, was it like 18 or something shit, or some shit, or some shit like that? It was like 2018, right? There was a time where everyone wore the pink, the blues, the yellows, the, the fucking reds, the orange. That was a rough time. <laughs> I'm so happy I never wore that shit. <laughs> Yeah, there was a time where we, where people just went through a fucking phase of coloured camouflage. I'm not all about that stuff, that ugh, rough, let's not talk about that. Right now, the one that's trending is that tree, tree, tree bop, some shit. I'll pop it on screen saying that one, one about, but that one right now, I feel like it's trending. The one that I personally like is the bog standard camouflage. The one that, you know, when you think of camouflage, when you say camouflage, you think of that camouflage. You know what I mean? I just feel like it's a very versatile piece. It's something that kind of elevates your style a bit. Yeah, I feel like you throw it on and it looks like you made effort, even though it's literally neutral. It isn't, to me anyway. <laughs> Green is a neutral colour. I will die by that statement. Green is, it is a neutral colour. Everyone knows it's a neutral colour. I'm not even trying to be like, oh, no, it's literally a neutral colour. Everyone knows this, right? So, <laughs> camo is neutral for me. So I feel like it goes with literally anything. Anything and everything. I feel like if you shove it on with even a fucking t-shirt or something, automatically you elevated your look. But when I say outdated, I don't mean like a thing of the past because it isn't. Everyone and their mom's brain camo. But like I said, there's different types of that kind of trending. And I like the bog standard one, which I feel like not a lot of people are wearing. Well, I mean, they are wearing. I'm just chatting shit at this point. They're wearing it. But I feel like we're seeing more of the, the bark treating that I was on about to you before. But yeah, camouflage to me is a timeless, it's a timeless print. It's one of the things that will never ever go out. You just see different vibes of it. Chunky shoes is my next one. Right, listen, listen, listen. I know right now we're kind of moving away from chunky shoes. We're going into more flat shoes and like a, a thinner silhouette, like the pointy heels, the kitten shoes, all that good stuff. We're going into that right now, right? Like me personally, I have like I've got sambas. I was influenced <laughs> and I bought sambas and they're fucking they're comfy, don't get me wrong, but it took me a hot minute <laughs> to learn how to walk in them. <laughs> Cause I've I've literally been wearing chunky shoes forever at this point now. Like it's been like it's been a, a good couple of years I've been in my chunky shoes and I will be wearing my chunky shoes till probably the day I die. They are to me a staple. It's one of my staples that I will will be wearing. They just listen, it gives brats, okay? And if it gives brats, I'm gonna love it. I grew up on that shit. I love it. I love it. I love it. If I can look like a brat star my whole life, I will be aiming for that. Yeah, I feel like chunky shoes generally for me, they're, they're just something that I need. I'm used to my sambas. Literally, when I first got them, let me tell you, story time. When I first got my sambas, I used to, I, I could not walk in them. I used to trip over my own feet. <laughs> like, I would, even in my Uggs, I would trip over my own fucking feet. I can't walk in them. Like, it took me a minute to learn how to walk in flat shoes. <laughs> We're seeing like a thinner silhouette, like for example, I feel like this, everyone and the mum was saying that it's Gucci to come back. Kidding me? I don't know what happened, but I won't be wearing it anyway because it's just not me. <laughs> but like obviously, like the thinner silhouette is coming back, so the chunky shoes are going. For me, they're not. For me, they're gonna they're gonna be here to the day I die. And with that, I'm gonna move on to wedges. This is another thing that's very brat's core because hello, they wear wedges, they wear thick shoes and the platforms. They wear them all the time, right? Wedge shoes, I feel like it's very, very much love and hate. People either love them or you fucking hate them. I was one of them people when I was like 10 years ago, when I was like 14. I used to hate them. I used to especially hate the, I think they're called Esperaldas. The wooden-y kind of rattan ones that people wear when they're on holidays. I used to hate them. Like, if they would not, they, I used to detest them every time I see them, they literally made me sick. <laughs> but the ones that I personally really like are the boots and the wooden kind of wedges, if you know what I mean. Like, I have, I've got three pair of wedges, but I'm not going to talk about other pigs, I've got a vintage and they literally crumpled. I don't see wedges in person, ever. I don't think I've, have I actually, I might have seen it a couple of times. But they need to make a comeback. Wedges to me are just gorgeous. 
at the stone end. And once again, they give brats and who does not want to look like a brat style? This next one actually like irks me. Velvet. Why does velvet never get any love? Like I, I never see velvet ever, ever. Like why do people not wear velvet? I don't get it. It just, it, it needs this moment. It needs, it needs this fucking moment. Velvet is once again one of them that are kind of timeless for me. <laughs> They just give whimsical witchy vibes. I think it's whimsical. That's the vibe that people like. Yeah, the whole whimsical. Listen, if you grew up watching Charmed, the teenage, the teenage witch, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, or even um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or anything like the craft and shit, shit like that, you will know that they wear velvet all the fucking time. They live in that shit, right? It just looks good, and I feel like it gets no love. People, we need to stop wearing velvet. Like, why are we not? Why are we not? Why are we? Why are we not doing that? Why? Hmm, 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 hmm. Answer me that question. Why are we not wearing velvet? It's just stunning. Wear it, please. The thing is, it's such a comfortable fabric as well. It's not a fabric that kind of irks you. It flatters everyone so well. Like, it looks good on everyone. And I feel like it needs to make a fucking comeback. People need to wear that shit more. Moving on. Long cardigans. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. Normal, I don't know why I'm going to say normal people because I don't have to fuck describe them people. <laughs> wearing normal clothes whatever that means but if you like wear like generally you don't go on trends and you just wear sh normal clothes but normal people <laughs> people that wear like the chunky i mean the chunky knit cardigans we've seen that right we've also seen the the fur moment with a little fur collar and the fur tingy majingies beautiful the ones that i personally like are like the mesh ones the mesh the lace and the crocheted ones i think they're beautiful once again i feel like they're going to that aesthetic off whimsical goth whimsical witch whimsical vampy you know and if you're into that kind of vibe i feel like you'll love it and the ones that i personally love are like the ones like the flute fluted i think they're fluted you know the ones that this this little thing that i'm doing here the, the flared the flared sleeves i think they look beautiful i think they look beautiful so yeah long cardigans especially at the floor length ones like we need to see them more but once again i don't think that's outdated <laughs> i feel like the ones that i think are outdated are the knitted ones but they're such a versatile piece and i feel like you can easily wear them in winter by layering them up wear it with a bra in summer and spring and it will also be great i just feel like they're such a good piece to have in your wardrobe the last thing twin set cardigans or i don't know if they're called twin set cardigans but a, a cardigan and a cami or vest whatever you want to call it a matching vibe stunning love it I know we're seeing like the um that the thinner not thinner but the tighter cardigan i know that's kind of trending right now this is kind of on like a similar vibe i know we've seen like a the matching cardigan situation back when the pandemic was going on and one of the dad had a sheen ones right the ones with the fucking clouds on them and the and the sheet and the and the what else do i have on them i don't know rainbows are not malarkey it had like the pattern flower shit everyone had them right Let's be honest, everyone in the fucking room had them. So <laughs> the ones that I personally like are more of the timeless looking ones. The ones that I feel like will never ever go out of style because they're obviously just a fucking plain old cardigan and a fucking matching camera. I feel like it's one of those items that you can so easily just throw on and you effortlessly look good. And I don't see a lot of people wear them, so people please wear them. I believe that's everything on my list. I hope you enjoyed. If there's anything you want to see from me, just let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.